This is 26 and a quarter. Oh my God. That gave me a huge lift gap right here. What's up you guys welcome back to the channel you new subscribers i'm barbas today we're going to be lifting the 2010 honda civic i did get all these spacers that you guys see right here the spacers was not what i wanted to use at first there was actually a, a kit online that was 110 dollars um it was a piece for the rear that was uh it was like uh like a bushing that went in the back and it was made out of rubber and then for the front it came with another piece that was made it was like a spacer made out of uh, metal for the front but unfortunately it's all the way in russia and it cannot be delivered until february of 2021 so i can't be sitting around waiting on this so i went ahead and i raided every single AutoZone and o'reilly's and i picked up as many of these things as i could and what we are going to do is we are going to attempt to get a lift out of the Civic with that. Um, I know that it's going to work. I just don't know how much lift we're going to get. There is another kit also that I found. And this other kit was $230 plus shipping or whatever. But that's a little bit too much to spend on that because of the fact that I'm going to be getting rid of the car later on. So I ended up buying all these. All these were $5.99 AutoZone, except for the two big ones. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the tire off and get started. Before we take this tire off, let's go ahead and measure this. So we know how much we gain. This is 26 and a quarter, all the way from the ground right now. This one is 25 and a half. I don't know if I should measure from the tire up also. From the tire up, it's two and a quarter inches. From the tire up, we're looking at two and a half inches in the rear. So, I'm gonna pull this tire off, throw that jack stand under there. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down. That way I know for sure that the spacer will slide in there without any garbage being in the way.
it is pretty cold out today so I have the car on because I'll probably go inside the car and warm up in a little bit all right so we're gonna go ahead and just stick all the spacers that were $5.99 into the grooves right here the first spacer is in and it slipped right on there really good so I'm gonna go ahead and stick another one so I got three coil spacers in there I'm gonna go ahead slap the tire back on and we'll see if that made a difference do the other side and then we'll take a measurement again And you can see how lifted the back looks now. I wasn't expecting that much of a crazy lift on here. But let me go ahead and re-measure all this. So we are at 28 from the ground. And... About four and a quarter just a little bit over driver's side is done and let me tell you guys it was a pain to do the ones in the front but in the front I went ahead and I installed the bigger one that I got um, I do have a little bit of room up there to install another one but I went ahead and I used the other one that I had to the back so in the back now I have four on one side four on the other side one big one here one big one on the other side but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up two more of the little ones the one inch ones for the front for each side um, but it was a pain to get this big one on there but I managed to to get it in there I used the pry bar to pull down on the springs and then I, I uh, went ahead and I hit it with this and I was able to slip it on there so I'm going to go ahead and install the tire and we'll see how high this car is. It's sitting so much taller right now. I'm going to go ahead and take it for a spin around the block and hope I don't have any problems with my axles, with my CB axles and we'll come back to see how it handles. feels regular like like regular Civic but I could definitely tell a difference in the height um, I'm gonna try to go over some bumps 
pizza-ass pickup. I'm gonna try to do a U-turn, do like a circle, see if uh, I hear anything with my CV axles. All right, the car feels beefy. I went over some bumps and it feels it feels different. It feels like I'm in like like a small pickup or something like that. Um, yeah, so the next step is to get tires for this. I'm not sure what size tires yet. So what I might do is go to the junkyard, snag a few different sizes and try them on to see how, how it looks. And then depending on what I see, is what I'll go ahead and order um, because I don't want to get a tire that's going to be too big that's not going to fit on there but there's so much clearance in here right now that I could probably trim all the way up to like up here if I needed to all this could just be removed from here probably like that much so I'm not worried about that and also for the front the same thing there's so much clearance in here. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be the end of the video and I will catch you on the next one. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.